Welcome once again to the program Changing Lives, where we will take a deeper look into the lives of people who have been touched by God Almighty through the ministry of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Yes, indeed. We know that uh, in life, experience is the best teacher. And through these interviews, we're going to be guided in so many ways to learn some very valuable lessons of life, um, you know, to learn how people overcame their challenges, how they endured their pains, and how at the end of the day, they came out with a wonderful testimony to the glory of God. Now, in today's program, we shall be listening to Mrs. Augustina Orakwe and her husband, Dr. Orakwe a retired controller of prisons in the Nigerian prison services and doctor of sociology. <laughs> Together they, they had some tough experiences in life, especially concerning some ups and downs in, in, in their marital lives. But through Christ they overcame even in the midst of that very difficult situation through discovering Emmanuel TV. And today we're going to take the opportunity to listen to their experiences. Now we believe that through the testimony of this family, you will discover how marital bliss can be restored and repaired when we anchor our home on the foundation of Christ. Hallelujah. So you're all very welcome uh, in Jesus' name to this program, Changing Lives. It's a great privilege to have you with us today. And um, we'd like to start with, with our mother first. If you could just introduce yourself to us and the people beside you and just share your, your testimony to our viewers to the glory of God. My name is Mrs. Augustina Orakwe. The man beside me is my husband, Dr. Ifedor Orakwe. On my left hand side, my junior brother, Chima Ozurumba, and the wife, Joy Ozurumba. The problem that brought us to Synagogue Church of All Nations, we had problem in our marriage. Years ago, a voice came to me telling me that I will scatter your marriage, but I didn't know how. But as a child of God, I prayed and I forgot about it. When my husband came back home that day, I told him that I had a voice today. This is what the voice said. We also prayed and we left the whole thing like that. But after that voice, problem started in the marriage. We started experiencing the things we have not experienced before. Lack of trust in the marriage. So many challenges. Even the, the, there was this family idol that has brought problem also in, the in my marriage, in the marriages of my siblings. Bringing people down. My eldest brother, a Russian trained petrochemical engineer, but nothing to show for it mm. because of the family idol. Mm. Because the family idol on that day, I received this uh, deliverance spoke that has destroyed everybody, and it is true. Before we came to Synagogue Church of All Nations, like I earlier said, we experienced a lot of problems. They themselves were experiencing the several problems in their homes. We have never knew that it was the family idol. Mm. So these problems continued on and on and on. As a child of God, I went to so many places, praying, looking for solution. But all to no avail, until we came to Synagogue Church of All Nations through the watching of Emmanuel TV, mm. which my husband discovered. So we started watching it. When we saw what God is doing in in the Synagogue Church of All Nations through Prophet, Senior Prophet T.G. Joshua, we now realize that ah, our problems can be faced. So that was how we came to Synagogue Church of All Nations. And uh, I thank God for his intervention. When, I, when we came here that day, the minister, the minister's uh, morning water. I mean the new morning water? The new morning water yeah. on me and uh, the Holy Spirit took over, and the family idol, the spiritual husband, they started speaking. Can you just describe what you experienced when that new morning water was ministered to you at that moment? When the new morning water was ministered on me, I didn't know what happened again. I started talking, 
I don't. I, I, even now, I was. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm still thinking of how that uh, I got that word, mm -hmm. family idol. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing just came, started talking. I've destroyed everybody. I've destroyed this, that marriage. You no, know, and it is true. No steady marriage mm -hmm. in my family. Problems here and there. We didn't know that it was the family idol that brought all these problems. But thank God for senior prophet T.B. Joshua, who submitted himself for God to use. Mm, exactly. mm. Because without him submitting for God to use him to deliver people, a lot of people would have gone. Mm. But thank God for him. So it was when we came here that we got solution. And I know that that deliverance of that day in fact, my siblings, they have started this, uh, getting testimonies. Mm -hmm. And since that day, everything, my marriage is like we, start, we just started again. <laughs> Praise God. Change. 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 I'm Dr. Ifedi Ororakwe. I'm a retired controller of prisons, and I hold a doctorate degree in sociology. And I served the prison service in Nigeria for 34 years. In the course of my career, especially in the last 16 years, I had the privilege of being engaged in um, international correction activities that took me around the world. Before now, we didn't know about Emmanuel TV. We never had that. The only thing we had about Prophet TV Joshua was in 1996, when some pastors made some caustic remarks about him. And you know, like everything evil, it went into the memory and settled there. But as I started traveling around the world... I'm very sorry, sir. Can, can you explain to us when you say caustic remarks? What, what do you mean? <laughs> now, in 1996, some pastors in Lagos here, yeah, you know, said that, that people should not listen to Prophet T.B. Joshua. In fact, it was printed in the magazines mm -hmm. that is patronizing Mami Water Spirit and all that stuff. When you say this type of thing, it easily settles in people's memory. So well, nobody knew about Emmanuel TV. Nobody knew about him. That caustic remark in 1996 almost made us think no more of T.B. Joshua. And so it stayed like that. So even when this crisis came into my marriage, we were born again, we were believers, we had a very a near perfect marriage. But this issue that came up, this demonic attack in the family, almost tore the family to shreds. Mm -hmm. I think that what was keeping us was our Christian confession. So it continued and continued and continued, and we were praying. I must confess that even here in Lagos, in the last six years, we were always coming for night vigil every last Friday of January after 30 days fasting and praying. And so I didn't know about Emmanuel TV. I didn't know about synagogue of all nations. It was when I made, like I said, I am involved in, I was involved in corrections, both international and local and in Africa. So it took me around the world. But I started getting to hear about Emmanuel TV as far back as 2012, when in one of our conferences in, in Uganda, a cabinet minister asked me, you are, because I always dress as a Nigerian, dress in kaftan, wear the cap. I don't even, if the weather is some zero cold, I will still appear. Then I will use winter jacket to cover us. But I will always dress in that Nigerian outfit. So the guy asked me, are you from Nigeria? I said, yes. The first person he asked me was, what about Prophet T.B. Joshua? I said, who is he? <laughs> said, the man of God in Nigeria. Said, Do you know him? I said, I don't know him. So he said, your life must be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a government minister. Yes. So he said, uh, we've been to Nigeria. We had problems. We came to Lagos. They call it Lagos. We came to Lagos, and the man prayed, and, we, uh, and you are telling me you don't know about him. I went to Barbados in 2009. Somebody asked me, how is Prophet T.B. Joshua? Just waved my side. Went to Mexico. Say, Senor, Prophet T.B. Joshua. I went to Singapore. Say, ah, Nigerian. How's Prophet T? Nobody was asking me about President Obasanjo <laughs> or Good Luck Jonathan. They were asking, sorry. 
But when I now had this experience in Uganda, and the man's comment was like a rebuke. Mm. So I went back to my hotel room and turned on the television. And I started watching Manuel TV. In 2014, in South Africa, I addressed a conference of African ministers of interior. And one, the one from Zambia, when he was giving me a promise that he would invite me to Zambia to come and look at the prisons and see the changes, he now told me, what about Prophet T.B. Joshua? Hmm. So I came back, I told her, I said, when I went back to the hotel, I now tuned the television station straight to Emmanuel TV, and I started watching. I couldn't sleep. Change. 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 Changing, changing lives. Change. 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 Can I just ask you, what first went through your heart when you first switched on the TV and watched Emmanuel TV? Uh, well, I wanted to find out what the world was telling me about that was happening in my own country and I was ignorant of. It made me look very illiterate. It me, made me look very unschooled. Mm. It made me look very foolish that Ministers of cabinet level will be telling me about uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua in my own country. Mm. And I was kind of saying, I don't know. Mm. As a sociologist of that level, I should know. So when I came back, I started watching, and I came back, I said, Madam, something is happening and we're missing it. She said, what? I said, look at the television. So we now saw deliverances. I want to confess that that was when my heart became very bitter. Mm. That was when I became pained. Mm. And even I asked uh, the prophet to pray for me so that that bitterness would go out. Because I felt that some people were deliberately tarnishing the man's image so as to prevent Nigerians from getting the best spiritually and physically from the deliverance here. Yeah. So I felt I, I, I want God to forgive me, but I really was angry. So you, you, you would agree, sir, that uh, what a danger in ignorance. Mm. That is why it's still happening. I was telling you about my sister-in-law, mm. who is in Ejibo here, just 100 Naira bus away. Mm. I had to drag her to this place because when I say your husband has been out of job for 11 years and you were told that it was an affliction, and you stayed there just to come here, you said they told you the man is, well, come here. I'm glad she came and got the first morning order mm -hmm. testimony on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that anybody can put her away from Emmanuel, from the mm -hmm. synagogue church of religion. So that's my pain. But from that 2014, when we started watching it steadily, I came to the conclusion that whatever it was, I had physical problem, my heart and hypertension, it was there. Mm -hmm. When we came in March, I got money water and I was okay. And I told her, we are going to come again. When we came in March, the man of God didn't have time to touch people. We collected the money water and left. We had our testimony, but we still wanted to come back. Mm. We wanted one on one. So when we came this time, we didn't see him. We were disappointed. Although the minister, money water was ministered. Maybe because of the disappointment, the faith did not click. Then we said, she suggested and I agreed. We stayed another extra week. Then we, we fasted and prayed for three days before that Sunday. That the only prayer point there was, may we see this man of God. May we have an encounter with him. When we came to the church that day, there was ministration of money water, but there was general uh, church service. Then I think our announcement was made, was going to uh, uh, administer money water. After that, we can go. I was a little depressed. And I told her, say, ha, since we have got money water, maybe after this morning, well, let's go, let's go back to Abuja where we've exhausted our resources, let's go back. But little did I know hmm. that the money water that was coming that day was the new one that had power and potency. <laughs> the moment it was ministered unto her, she went into skyline. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> so the revelations were, I knew deep inside me hmm. that what was happening to my wife was spiritual. Hmm. She would offend me and I would tell her this is what it is. She said she didn't do it. So I was, from my experience on Emmanuel TV, and the people that have been previously delivered, I knew that deep inside me that what was wrong was spiritual. Mm. It was only the morning water that brought the confirmation. Mm. And I want to tell you that after that Sunday, we are man and wife again. Wow. <laughs> it is wow. just like when it was at the beginning. Newlyweds. Yes. Glory <laughs> be to God. And the pain is that we didn't come. On time. 
And that's why I spoke. And I'm going to use this opportunity mm. to still speak again, to tell not the foreigners. Mm. Because when the man of God goes to Mexico, he is received presidentially. Mm. He goes to Paraguay, Uruguay, Botswana, Ecuador, Ecuador mm -hmm. Singapore. Look at Indonesia, that is even almost 90% Muslim. Mm. Look at South Korea. Everywhere he is received. But in this country, where he is domiciled, he is not acknowledged. Mm. It's not like this. It's, it's a terrible thing. Yeah. And I want to address pastors. They say they are Christians, but do not acknowledge that this man has the grace of God to deliver and to save. They should allow that he's not asking for their congregation. He's not asking for their members. Mm -hmm. They should please tell their churches the truth so that the people who are suffering under various yokes can come here and be delivered. They should not lie. So many people out there are under that yoke like I was. Mm -hmm. Being told, don't go to T.B. Joshua. He is this, he is that. T.B. Joshua is a genuine man of God who God is using in this generation to do the impossible, to deliver people and to save them by the power in that name. Mm -hmm. And anybody that is preventing you from coming here to seek deliverance from spiritual, from physical, from every other yoke is not helping you. Mm -hmm. The person is lying. That's, that's, the, that's the advice I want to give to Nigerians. And I'm using this medium to let them know that they are suffering because of ignorance. Yeah. The Bible says my people perish for like lack knowledge. of knowledge. I have come here, and the yoke that held my family and my, my, my extended family hostage has been broken. Amen. And if I had come Amen. here five years ago, I wouldn't have ended my career the way I did. Yeah. I served the prison for 34 years, I was stagnated for nine years wow. at the beginning. I stagnated for 12 years. I retired as a controller of prison. When people who are less gifted were promoted to deputy controllers general. Mm -hmm. And I know that by the grace of God, I contributed immensely to turning the face of Nigeria prisons around, both within the country and internationally. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it was this demonic force in my wow. family. Well, so I'm telling you well, out there, yeah. who is there listening to me right now, come to not that there is no God. There is God in all churches. But there is grace imparted upon several people according to their faith. Mm -hmm. Here is a man given to us in this generation by God. People are spending thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars to fly from other parts of the country mm -hmm. to come and get what God has given us in Nigeria. And somebody is telling you that it's not available. Please, for, all, for Christ's sake, come and be baptized and be delivered. Praise God. Change. 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 Changing lives. Change. 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 Okay, so we basically we had uh, questions from some of our viewers, um, and we have time just to read perhaps two, one or two yeah, questions. Yeah, exactly. So we have one from Kelly from Australia, and Kelly asks, um, as a doctor of sociology, would you have considered your marital problems to be a spiritual issue? Well, as a Christian, Jesus, when was asked about tax, said, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar, hmm. and what belongs to God to God. I mean, I even read political economy. I even read in my doctoral dissertation, I applied, I applied Marxian principles in solving social problems. Mm -hmm. But that is there. But when it comes to spiritual work, mm -hmm. I believe God. Mm -hmm. No academic consideration comes in, mm -hmm. not for one moment. Yeah. Wow. wow. So you realize that despite your education, this was a spiritual issue that required mm -hmm. spiritual solutions. Jesus yes. said, give that which belongs to Caesar to Caesar, mm -hmm. and that which belongs to God to God. And that is where I stand. My academic convictions, my academic preoccupation cannot. You know, the Bible says that God has chosen the foolish things of this world yeah, to confirm. confound the yeah. wise. Mm. If I apply academic <coughs> wisdom in this matter, I would derail. I would, I would just move 100, 100 you know, degrees off my target. Mm. When you want to come, you come by faith. And the faith that moves is the faith in Christ Jesus delivered unto us, not the law. Mm. Because if the law were to come in, which is contaminous with academics, then Christ died in vain. Mm. Wow, thank you very much, though. And uh, we had another question as well. Uh, this is from 
uh, Mr. Nigel, who is actually in Holland from, from Netherlands, and he asked, uh, if this problem had not happened in your life and family, mm. do you think you still would have found out more about Prophet T.B. Joshua? Yes. Actually, we came here because we had that problem. But it took us time. We got into this watching Emmanuel TV 2014. Mm. And this is 2017. Mm. We also had enough faith to believe the man of God when he's praying that we could lay hands on the television and get healed. We only came here because we felt this thing was becoming an irritant. Mm -hmm. It was making us look like we're no longer the Christians we, we are. Mm. So we now came here so that on this mount we can drop everything and continue our work. But it wouldn't have meant anything. Because when we got glued to that television and saw the marvelous work God was doing here, there was no other, there was nothing like going back. There was no going back. So at this point, we just want to hear a few words from uh, Mr. Chima, which is the brother of uh, Mrs. Augustina. So Chima, um, can we hear from you? I heard that you also had a great testimony concerning a breakthrough. Emmanuel, hmm. thank you, my sister. My name is Chima Uzrumba, a businessman. I live in Abuja. And the person beside me is my wife, Joy Chima Uzrumba. We have been in this journey for so long. It's just like when the Israelites were crossing the biblical Jordan. It wasn't an easy thing. We have gone through so many pastors. They will see, even see uh, intestine, but they don't have solution. <laughs> yeah, they don't have solution. Okay. But thank God for Prophet T.B. Joshua. Immediately my sister called me that I should come. That see, see, see. Immediately she had that deliverance. A lot of things started happening. Mm. A document I have been looking for two and a half, uh, two and a half years. Mm. I said, God. The next thing I said, I had an instinct. So go to your jeep. I went to my jeep. I opened it. I saw the document there. Yeah. Wow. A lot of things had been unfolding itself. Mm. Because of this family, I do have suffered a setback. Even my brothers and sisters. My sister said the actual thing. But today, we have reached our pro promised land. Mm. All those contracts, people have been calling me. Said those that document they called me so many times that do you want us to start it afresh? I said I have not done it. Please do it. Mm. I didn't know that it was a deliverance my sister had. Mm -hmm. All these things have started unfolding itself. Thank God to Prophet TB Joshua. Amen. 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 Well, as Prophet TB Joshua says, he says, whether we plants or water, uh, in Christ we are a team. Mm -hmm. So we, we believe that you know, God has gifted pastors in different ways mm -hmm. and we just give glory to God that it was when you came here that God really opened that door for breakthrough in your family in such a wonderful way. Mm -hmm. So let's just finally hear a word from our sister as well here. What do you would like to say about this breakthrough in the whole family? Emmanuel, mm -hmm. we thank God for today. I am Mrs. Joy Chima Zurumba. And Augustina is my sister-in-law. We thank God for the manifestation of the family idol. The family idol has dealt a great blow in that family. It has killed his younger brother, mm. his elderly sister. It has done a lot of harm, no breakthrough. Even our son, to even he will do wayeke, no results. They will seize it, and he's very brilliant. Jump, they seize it. The day he called us, uh, my sister-in-law called us, invited us to come. That uh, he man she manifested family idol. I brought his birth certificate, laid it on the floor. The new anointed water was sprinkled on it. The next day, he got admission. <laughs> wow. wow. He's in school wow. now. We have been fighting. We have spent 500, 600,000 looking for schools for him. Wow. Mm. We have started seeing a lot of breakthroughs. I had the pain, a great pain at my spinal cord. I got that anointing. The morning water. The morning water. The thing flew. See, today, <laughs> I had a very big boy. I don't mm. know where the boy came from. My blood sugar was 401 mm. <laughs> when I came in contact with the new morning water. The, whole, the thing came to 73. I was not eating rice. Mm. I don't eat anything, even no carb in my diet. But since I came here, I've been 
swallowing rice. They were even <laughs> shouting, asking me, what is this? I mean, thank God for the deliverance. Amen. Amen. Wow. Glory so be to God. It's a change physically, spiritually, physically, in the marriage, in, in fact, every, every department every of this aspect. family. Mm. Glory be to wow. God. So I think at this point, um, let's just hear a final word of advice from our mother, who is the one that actually received that deliverance through the new morning water that opened this wonderful door of breakthrough uh, for the whole family. So, Madame, to cap off everything, what is your, your word of advice to our viewers? My word of advice to you viewers all over the world is that when you have this kind of problems, don't go away. Don't run away from God. Mm. Run to God. Watch Emmanuel TV. It is the uh, faith booster. That's what I call Emmanuel <laughs> TV. Because if you watch it, you will know that your solution must come in Synagogue Church of All Nations. That's my advice to viewers all over the world. Amen. Amen. Wow. Thank you so much uh, to the family. And uh, viewers, you've heard it from our mother. She said Emmanuel TV is a faith booster. booster. Mm -hmm. And we really believe your faith has been boosted, has been lifted up mm -hmm. by this wonderful testimony. And that, you know, there are several important lessons of life to be learned. We know that in the Christian home, you know, a Christian home does not just happen, it mm -hmm. is built. But in the Christian home, a Christian home is, is like a, a high school of learning where so many truths about life are really learned. And one of the lessons that we really learn from this experience is that personal fulfillment and improvements in life come through the continual process of learning from both positive and negative experiences in life. Yes, and indeed we all face spiritual entities that cause crisis in our marital life, our family, and our careers. Mm. And the tool for these spiritual entities is simply offense. Mm. Yes, when we feel offended, we begin to use our tongue out of bitterness, out of anger and hatred to split churches, shatter marriages, crush close relationships, and tear homes apart. Yes, and we know the Bible says that God is actually the, the owner, the author, the originator of relationships. So since relationships begin with God and then overflow to people, we can't just quit from relationships mm -hmm. under any circumstance, you know, unless God himself releases us. Because the beautiful thing about God is that he can speak strength through weakness. Mm -hmm. He can speak strength to us through challenges, through uh, difficult circumstances, through all of these uh, issues that arise in our marriage. God can actually speak joy in the midst of sadness. And in a Christian home, we know that there can be no uh, agreements without disagreements. So that disagreement will lead to a higher level of agreements in Christ. Indeed. And also there can be no understanding without misunderstanding. Yes, and I believe that this program has gone a long way to let us know that even if your marriage is on the verge of divorce, there is hope, and that hope is in Christ Jesus, the anchor of our souls. So viewers, we thank you so much for watching this program, Changing Lives, and we believe that as you are watching, you are learning some secret truths that will be changing your life and changing your family's lives and all those around you. God bless you. Thank you so much for watching us. Until next time on Changing Lives, from me, Annette. And from me, Chris, God bless you. Good morning.